Oh, Linux was created by Linus Torvalds. It's an Unix-based operating system that can be installed on any device, such as computers, mobile, mobile phones, and GPSs. I did it again. Uh, Linus Torvalds was born on December 28, 1969. He was the creator of Linux, and uh, it was a hobby of his, of his at first, and he graduated from University of Helsinki with a master's in computer sciences. Linux was first uh, released in 1991, and when it was released, it became a free and open source software where anyone could modify it and uh, redistribute it to the world with the license. And it was created by Minix, GNU, and Unix combined together to create this. Unix was developed in 1965 by a group of AT&T employees at Bell Labs. Unix operating systems are widely used in both servers, workstations, and mobile devices. The Unix environment and the client-server program were essential elements in the development of the internet and fine-tuning of networks. GNU was created to be the complete Unix-compatible software system. GNU is like Unix, but with free software and no Unix code involved. GNU software is published to the Free Software Foundation, and the software is widely used by Linux kernel. Minix is also a Unix-like operating system and was created by Andrew Tannenbaum for instructional purposes, created in 1987 for university study and research purposes. The mini Unix helped inspire Linux. Linux versions are based on each kernel, and each kernel is a version and is available to the world and you can download free. Uh, since it's a free and it's growing every day through com commercial and non-commercial designers, because it's a free open source programming. Uh, okay. Over 75% of Linux kernel code was created by corporations between December 2008 and 2010 such as Dell, IBM, HP, Oracle, Sun, Novell, and Nokia, and then Fedora is the newest one, it's the most famous one. Uh, the user interface used by Linux can be controlled by command line uh, interface, graphical user interface, or controls associated with it. Uh, X Windows is the newest uh, system and it works with network transparency. In terms of security, Linux is ahead of Mac. Linux users are not automatically given administrator privileges on their computers. Therefore, viruses and malware don't automatically have access to everything. And Linux is also much more customizable than Mac. With Linux, almost everything is changeable and customable. You can have everything the way you want it to be, no matter how simple or complex. However, with Mac, everything is how Apple wants it to be, and there's little room for customization. The most typical use for Linux is for desktops and servers. Linux also has distributions for computer architecture support, embedded systems, stability, and support. There are over 300 distributions. The Linux kernel runs in devices ranging from supercomputers to mobile phones. Linux has two popular distributions, GNOME and KDE. These both allow users to set their own personal preferences. Desktop Linux environments have been improving and thus more people are using it. Programs for Mac and Microsoft are available to Linux because they are free software applications. Linux devices are computer appliances that are powered by Linux. Operating system kernel, the reasons of using Linux may be various, low cost security, stability, scalability, or customability. Over 50 mobile phones use Linux. The Limo Foundation is the foundation of phones. Not only is Linux found on personal computers and cell phones, it is also found in multimedia devices and gaming consoles. Uh, some devices include iPod, Zune, Nintendo, GameCube, Wii, Xbox, PS3. Uh, and Most of Linux distributors are free of charge and can be downloaded easily. What makes Linux such a highly regarded operating system is because of its abilities that Mac and Windows cannot offer. Linux also <laughs> runs the Apache web server, which is the most popular web server today. The London Stock Exchange tested a new Linux-based system that will replace its Microsoft-based system. The change is due to take place on November 1st and is intended to be the, one of the fastest exchange systems in the world. <coughs> Leechbit and GTK Orphan refresh the computer, which helps to solve small problems before they escalate. Linux is not very user-friendly when it comes to altering settings that control boot up sequences with startup managers allows you to easily change default boot options. The Linux Foundation survey shows that 79% of companies are adding more Linux relative to other operating systems in the next five years. 60% of respondents say they will use Linux for the more mission-critical workloads over the next 12 months. Torvalds isn't planning on making any major change, changes to the operating system. The future of Linux mostly has to do with, with being able to support a wider range of systems. The SMP, web serving, kernel space, and user space are all areas that will be improved.